Hey everybody, it is that time, it is Sunday night, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the Lady of the Spice, Regina DeChico. Big entrance, big entrance. <laughs> I, I, everyone knew I was back there, by the way, but I hid, and you guys all act surprised, even though we were all together before. So I appreciate it. How are you guys doing tonight? Good? You guys are good? I, I feel like I need to tell you guys, exciting news today, my jeans fit, guys. My jeans fit. Come in, yes, right? This is big. This is big. Here's what I did. I mentally prepared myself before I put them on. I was like, probably not going to close. They're probably not going to close. And it's it's tough. It's tough out there. The, we were just talking about it before. We're like, how are we doing? Nobody knows. So I'm like, mentally prepare yourself. If these jeans don't fit, you're going to be okay. I was afraid they wouldn't fit, and I'd have to call Mickey and be like, I can't come tonight. <laughs> and he'd be like, are you sick? And I'd be like, no, my jeans don't fit. Pants and off, I, dance it's off. It's a pants. <laughs> and I spiraled out of control. <laughs> but they fit, which is good. Thank goodness. Because we're transitioning. We're transitioning into fall wear i see everybody looks good i'm struggling with that i like summer stuff and here's the thing like the weather now it's like cold in the morning then it gets warm me and mickey both work at the view mickey shows up so much earlier than i do so when mickey gets there he's dressed for winter because it's like the break of dawn the sun's not out i come right i'm still in a sundress i'm like what's up everybody because the sun comes out for a little bit it's when you people walk in at like nine o'clock with your coffee like oh i'm so tired nine. <laughs> guys i don't even come not at so early Mickey's literally done a whole day of work and I'm like hi everybody and then <laughs> it's crazy uh, but Mickey what were you wearing last night by the way I don't know if people realize you need to go on social media and see the suit that Mickey had on last night my best friend George the lawyer you met him last week yeah. We celebrated his bachelor party last night. We went to this club called House of Yes, and we just had to say yes to life. And I wore my DJ Mickadelic suit with yeah, my no, gold, my clogs are here. <laughs> it's getting applause. Know that Mickey suit is getting, you're like, I've seen it. It's amazing. You don't have to hesitate to applaud for that. I like, you guys are paying such close attention. I feel like you think you're going to learn something. You're not. But everyone's literally paying so much attention. This is not a TED Talk. I have nothing that, t nothing I will say will change your life oh my god i have to turn around and see everybody on social oh, oh my so god everybody looks great yes you're gonna be right up there now oh okay oh look at me i can watch me do no. me yeah, your camera's right oh, here the camera's yes. there. <laughs> I thought. <Mickey> <laughs> Imagine I stop facing you guys and I'm just doing a show for myself and I'm like, oh my God, look at me go. The camera's there. Okay, now we see where the camera's. Oh, perfect. Oh, good. Uh, are you guys in relationships? What's happening? Let's get to know each other. No? No? I like it. No, no, no. You are. How long have you been in a relationship? Depending on who, yes. Okay, good. It's I like that we're a <laughs> how, how long do you want to say? How long do you think? Two years, and now if we ask, if we ask the other person, how long? Okay, great. So you were in a relationship for a whole year, and then you're like, I should say something, and now you both know you're in it for two years. No, I was just going to listen. I didn't want to bring it up, but I did want to point that out. I'm like, it's going so great that you're like, I'm going the spice by myself. Thank you very much. No, I appreciate it. That's good. Do you feel like love is a weird thing? It's not, I don't think what we promise. It's not what we think it is, right? Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like, the, love is like a fine line between like, it's a beautiful thing and it's also weird is what I feel like. Like me and my husband married like seven years now. We went for a bike ride the other day. Not that we do this all the time, you guys. We had a, we had a lift credit for a city bike. This was a one-off just so you know. I'm not like we did a bike ride, we went hiking, no, we had a credit, and we're like, let's use this stupid bike, it's free. So I, I didn't want to weigh myself down, because I wanted to pick up speed. So I didn't I didn't bring a lot of stuff with me, like just, you know, a little wallet, my phone, not much. And a friend, like, texted me while we were out, and they were like, oh, do you want to meet up for drinks? And because I don't know how working out works, I was like, obviously. So <laughs> my husband said he was going to go home, and I didn't want to carry extra stuff, and I'm doing Invisalign, and I didn't have my Invisalign case so I looked at my husband I said if you go home now would you take my teeth and he did, you guys, he did. That's what love is, it's teeth. So all of a sudden, I look down and in his pants pocket, I see the outline of my teeth. <laughs> And I was like, oh, my God, that is, like, kind of sexy and <laughs> disgusting. That's totally disgusting. And I feel like that's what love is. You know what I, I mean, Mickey, you know. I feel like you know. Love is at night me sleeping with my retainer and open mouth breathing and Maribeth having her thing so she doesn't snore. That's what yeah, love no, is. It's like, it's <laughs> so real. You get to a point where it's like, because literally, like, I feel like they tell you it's like two becoming one and they make it sound, like, very sexy. I'm like, me and my, but it's, it's not in a sexy way. It's two becoming one. Like, me and my husband were on the couch and it's more like, 
an amoeba. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know where I end and he <laughs> begins. Like, literally, somebody farted, and uh. I was like, whose ass was that? <laughs> like, I don't know. That's why I feel like we are. That's why I feel like we are. It's uh. like, it's so weird. It's not It's not what we think it is at all. Now, you, like, you guys are together, yes? I feel like we're like, on the love seat of all things, of course. And how long has it been? Married for 22 years that nobody cares, but I think it's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was a single thing that just happened. Or I was like, that must be nice. Um, how did you guys meet? I, I was working at a bank. Okay. Mandy's uh, sister was working at a bank. Got it. They started, started. They said to me that she and her sister said to me, you're going to marry my sister. Wait, the day you started, this is a coworker. It's like, you're going to marry my sister. You were like, I quit. This is a lot. It's my first day, and you're coming in hot. But then, and then six months later, we met. So we didn't, and, right. now, and now it's 25 years later. Amazing. I like that you didn't add to that story at all. You were like, let him tell the story. This is how it goes. Did he tell the story correctly? And what's the secret to 22 years? What can you tell people? Um, oh, my God. <laughs> No, you eventually stop hating each other. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I love where we are now, post pandemic. Everyone's so honest. I'm like, what's the secret? People are like, alcohol. I'm like, what's the secret? Somebody said, if we said whoever like leaves first has to take the kids. Like that's people are being so. Could you imagine? There was one couple in the view, Mickey. I'm like, what's the secret? She's like, whoever goes first has custody. And I was like, that's real. That's real. People are not messing around anymore. Well, wait you out <laughs> yeah, they're like, well, just, exactly like it, it used to be like oh my god communication talking people like alcohol threats what, what is it we you guys you see how real this is getting we look at every, look at she it's been two two or one or two years but she's still saying you're like weed is really helpful i like now the, the people that are you guys looking do you want to be in relationships it's not, we don't have to get as deep as you want. Don't be nervous. We're friends here. We're fr it's us and just everybody on the internet, so it's fine. It's that you're not really sure. <laughs> it's just us and like all of your new friends, right? JR's not going to tell anybody what you say. <laughs> Sean doesn't care. So what? <laughs> are you guys looking presently or no? No, I like it. I respect it. I respect it. You don't have to want it. You're, are you nervous to answer? No. You're like, I'm just, you're like, Regina, I'm living my best life on a Sunday. <laughs> Look, you're with someone and you're still not here with that person. And I think that's what we're talking about. Okay, great. And how are you doing over here looking fabulous? Okay. <laughs> Everything is so loaded. Everyone's like, I am just hanging on. That's how this is going, right? I feel like every day is like, we we can't get out of this cycle. I'm like, are you done with unprecedented times? Right? It's like been too, it's cr like even at, we're at work together, it's like we don't really, I feel like I see more people at work getting COVID tests. That's why I catch up with people. Seven times a week. Mickey gets <laughs> tested seven times a week. Can you imagine? Seven times a week. What's crazy is I feel like I could rank them now or tell you the kind of COVID tests I like. Oh, and yeah. that terrifies me. I'm like, do you ever have a fat swap? It's great. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, super skinny kind of tickles. <laughs> like, medium swap, not pleasant. Like, why? we live in a time where we have, we can, isn't it? Do you guys get a lot of COVID tests or no? You do. Oh my God! Look, how, how many? How many do you get? Do you get every week? Uh, a couple of months. A couple of months. Not as crazy as Mickey's nostrils. Oh, uh, these nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> They've been around, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that mask is coming down all the time. That's right. Because well, I kept thinking when this whole start, the whole, when the whole thing started, I'm like, testing is going to be the key. Testing is going to be the key. The first time I had a test, it was so invasive. I was like, there's got to be another way. We have to find another way to was do this. Was it the this. brain scraper? Oh, yes. Terrible. It was crazy. No, because they're like, oh, we used to do it different. I'm like, you used to do it different? Were you mad? Because I feel like you were just like, it's good. It's, uh, it was so aggressive it at the sucked. beginning. It's totally changed now. It is totally changed. But you know, it happens all the Do you like some better than others? Uh, in Europe, in other countries, they just do like the one nostril. They do it like a little bit. I'm like, that was awesome. In Europe, <laughs> you guys are like, guys. <laughs> Did you guys ever have a COVID test in Europe? Because they do it so much. Like, look at how we're talking. This is our, they're like, they do one nostril in Europe. Have you guys heard about this? That's crazy. Oh, I did a self-test in Croatia. A self-test? As if you're going to be aggressive. You're like, this was good. I think I got it. Right, have you ever done a self-test? A bunch of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mickey, Mickey's done them all. <laughs> Mickey's like a real experimenter when it comes to COVID tests. He's like, I've done self-tests, group tests. Uh, one of you've done them all. Well, the thing is, though, 
like once you've had so many tests, you know when you get an aggressive person. Yes. You know, it's like, yo, back up. You know, it hurts. You can tell. You can almost tell going into it. You're like, this is going to be bad. Like, suck. you want to stand up or sit down? You're like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, what is about to happen here? Why do I have to get in position for this test? Right? No, it's crazy. It's so crazy. No, I, I, but I can't believe we can, like, right, we, no, right? We know what we like and what we don't like in terms of COVID tests. It's very stressful. Oh, God, it's too much. It's too much. And now I am doing Invisalign, guys. That wasn't a lie. Did, has anybody here ever done Invisalign? Just straight, you did it? How did, let's see. Let's see. Yes! Look at those teeth. Listen. Well, when did you do it? Okay, four years ago. I decided during COVID, I was like, what a great time. Let me do it. And then they had a vaccine. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was full on prepared. I was like, I'm going to stay home. Nobody needs to know. And they're like, we got a vaccine. We're going out. And I was like, no. And now I'm outside with my with my plastic teeth retainer all the time. And I feel like it makes me spit a lot. And what a dangerous time to be spitting. <laughs> do you know what I'm mean? like? I always feel like I have it on. And I'm like, yes, welcome to the show. And I'm like, no. And I, you just see the spit droplets like going. I'm like, this is a terrible time to have invisible Invisalign on, right? It feels awful that I'm like, but of course, like I get Invisalign. They're like, oh, we got vaccinated. We're going out again. It looks good. But thanks. <laughs> I mean, it's happening, you guys. There's one straggler on the bottom, but besides <laughs> that, guys, it's really going great. And I think it's just because I was on Zoom all the time, and you can't stare at your face that long. Did you guys have to do a lot on Zoom? Or no? So, no, here, you did it. Th thank God you did. What were you doing on Zoom? What kind of work do you do? Just bet. So. Have you met anyone? Because apparently, banks are really hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's bad. I feel like no one should stare at that face there lo that long. Because I think that's what made me do Invisalign. But what I really noticed was one day I was like, oh, my God, are my eyes uneven? Like, that's what I noticed first. And then someone's like, I think they are. And I was like, thanks. Thanks a lot. I'm just done. I'm just done with this. Um, so I did do a show last night, and my husband came to the show. And my husband doesn't like to come to a lot of shows, Mickey knows. So literally, he sits down, and he like announces to the people at his table. He's like, listen, she's going to make a lot of exaggerations. <laughs> They're not true. Don't judge me. All this stuff didn't happen. The first bit I do is I talk about how li So I was doing Zoom shows at home. Me and my husband are a one-bedroom apartment. Do you understand? The other room is a bathroom. So this is, this is, my, vo this is my volume all the time. Do you understand? So you imagine, right, he's in the next room. We're doing the first spice. I know I've told you this before. And literally, I get a text message from my husband. I think it's going to be cute. Like, have a great show. And he literally writes in all caps, like, shut up. <laughs> like, that's what he texts me. And it wasn't like a cute shut up. Under it, he put three angry faces, right? So I opened with this joke last night, and then my husband leans into the table, and he was like, oh, no, this story is absolutely true. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, no, there's no exaggeration. He was like, this happened. He was so nice to me in person. No, he was. He <laughs> loved you in person, because he was talking to you, Mickey, not me. Not me, like, yelling all the time, or talking to virtual audience members, or him overhearing. Because then I would always go to the other room, and I'd be like, you never believe what happened. He's like, I heard everything. You're <laughs> yelling. <laughs> Um, I am loud. I am loud. And then sometimes I can't hear, and I'm afraid that I'm so loud, I'm making myself go deaf. Does anyone think that? I feel like you guys think that could happen. Do you think that could happen? <laughs> You're like, yes, that's my medical diagnosis, Regina, 110%. It could. No, I'm very... <laughs> Now I'm like, should I go to the doctor, guys? We think that could... I'm very scared. It could happen. But that's what I feel like I'm doing. Just just loud. Just loud. It's just me, though. It's just me. Actually, The View posted a video of, of me the other day when there was a lady that turned 98 years old. Mm -hmm. And it was me just wishing a nice 90-year-old lady happy birthday. Did you guys see this online? And so many of the comments are like, oh, God, tell that girl to have another cigarette. Why is she <laughs> screaming? It's about a beautiful 98-year-old lady celebrating her birthday. <laughs> But I was like, people online are insane. That's so crazy. And I was like, thank God they didn't tag me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but I was could you ever imagine, like, but if that's why the online stuff is bananas. Mm -hmm. It's bananas. But I, we laughed about it. Don't get upset. Some of you look like you got <laughs> upset over there. Don't get upset, you guys. Oh, no, the team <laughs> Regina? Yeah. Look at that. Like, like, don't go after these people. Don't go after. It was just a funny, because part of me wanted to be like, guys, this is it. This is the voice. And this is what it sounds like all the time, uh, which is why my four year old niece calls me Uncle Gina, um, <laughs> which is absolutely true. She knows the difference, but that's what she does, Mickey. That's what she does. I like it. <laughs> you would like it because we're friends and you know you can.